welcome once again, fellow Rimrims, to uh, Granny's Ranch here in Rimworld. Now, I have big plans for today. Enormous, huge plans. We've got to start with something a little bit smaller. The usual people frothing at the mouth in the comments. Why haven't you given Darren a gosh damn peg leg? So that's what we're going to start with. You think Granny would have risked giving her only begotten grandchild? Although I think Don has a sister. You think Granny would have risked her only begotten grandchild? Getting a peg leg without a bloody hospital. But now look at this. We've got ourselves a premium Wild West hospital with everything you could ever need. Beds. <laughs> that's all. That's all they're ever gonna need. <gasps> My God, is that what I think it is? The law of rootin' tootin' sheep lootin'. Holy crap! There it is. The Gorse revolver. A space and set revolver somewhere out there on the frontier. Ready for us to bring back for what will hopefully by the end of today be Sheriff Dunn, because that's my plan. We've got all of these ranks, all of these specialist roles that we've got to fill in with all various different colonists that hopefully we're going to recruit by the end of today. We've got a house roulette, and I'm going to say no preacher without a church, no rancher without a ranch, no homestead without a homestead, no sheriff without a sheriff's office. Those were all poor choices in hindsight, because I've already built all of those. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a better choice would have been to say, hey, like, no shop without a goods merchant, no barkeep without a saloon. Maybe that would have been, you know what I mean. Oh, and I have to point it out. Some eagle-eyed person in the comment section yesterday pointed out that when I was having a look here at Velasco and I looked at her current ongoing pregnancy, somebody said that the father of the child, you can see it right there, Jelly. You're probably thinking, who the hell's Jelly? Well, I did point him out yesterday. That's none other than Bandit Chief Jelly King. We've captured the Bandit Chief's wife, an unborn child. What a story element, huh? That is a story worthy of a Western. Maybe this kid's raised by Granny. Maybe raised by Granny's ranch just collectively as a community. Goes on to become mayor and has to have a shootout with his gosh dang own pappy. This is, this is Rimwald Prime right here. This has got so much potential. All I have to do now is <laughs> not fuck it all up. So, where the hell do we even start? I think first things first, we should start giving people some, some ranks, right? Some roles in the colony. Actually, there are some limitations on some of the rituals here. So we can do a square dance in 11 days. Might need a town hall or something like that for, for kickstarting things. Here, obviously we need a, a mayor for a lot of these. What about the trading fair? So when we, get a, when we get a goods merchant and a shop, we can kick one of those off. We can also do a pistols at dawn and make a pregnant woman shoot a cat lady. I don't think she's actually a cat lady. I think that's a toque. We don't, we don't do cat ladies on the frontier. That's not, that's not happening. So right now we've got colonists that can fill in the role of bounty hunter, sheriff, goods merchant, and barkeep. I think Yakov can't do anything, right? He can't do anything but like shooting and cleaning according to his character page. He's, he's a bit terrible, I'll be honest with you. Why not make him the sharpshooter? I think he's the perfect role for that, because that will also give him shooting bonuses. That way, when we get bandits or whatever else, he can sit up there in the watchtower with a rifle and pick him off from a distance. I like that a lot. It's going to cancel everything. Can't really do it anyway, to be fair. Some of these he'll lose, but that's all right. Oh my god, the tumbleweed. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, that's so perfect. I'm going to tell you, Granny, I'm a mighty fine shot with this here rifle, and my clothes make me fearsome and powerful and mighty in the name of this here town. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thank you, Granny, for... Give me the role. Hey, look at that. Yakov now holds the title of Bounty Hunter. Gives him Marksman Command. So you know for a fact I'm never going to use that and forget that it even exists within five minutes. And I do still want to make uh, Dunn the Sheriff. I think it'll disable... Oh, shit. Hang on. Right. It does it per person. Uh, um, we could make him a head rancher, barber surgeon, homesteader, sheriff, goods merchant, barkeep. The thing is, I don't want to pick like Sheriff and have it disable all of his roles. He's actually fine. He can be sheriff, but he won't lose anything. Ah, oh, sick. That's good. Now, Granny herself might end up being elected mayor. We can't choose that one manually. That, of course, goes via election. When we've got enough colonists, they'll start picking who they want to lead them, which I think makes perfect sense. Going to a rancher, barber surgeon, homesteader, blacksmith, sheriff, goods merchant, or party host. I like that a lot. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to leave Granny's role open so that hopefully she gets elected mayor. I'm not sure what happens if they're elected. While they already have a rank, I presume they just lose their old rank, gain the new one, then you have to elect someone else, you know, with sheriff in their stead. They can't hold both, right? I'm going to make him sheriff then. I think he's suited to that one. Bear in mind, this guy's got, again, decent shooting, good social. He's got good medical. He's got all the all the skills a, a good sheriff will need. Explain the importance of his role. You don't need to explain it to anybody. It's courageousness. Absolutely done. You are a courageous man like right there. What's he wearing? Science goggles. Oh, you will give that to a uh, to the doctor or whoever turns up when we finally get a bloody doctor. That is, we'll be good. Actually, you know what? That didn't remove any of Yakov's work types. 
He's kept exactly what he had before, so that actually worked out pretty damn well. There's not going to be enough cleaning jobs for Yakov to do, and, he, and given that he can still do research even after that, I think it's finally time we have a look into the tree here. Now, research is absolutely fine, like I said. It is, however, balanced so that even though this technology exists out there in the world, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at how much of that is just guns. Holy shit. Uh, a lot of it, though, is blank. You might notice we've only got access to the early stuff, so don't worry about that too much. Wow. And, of course, all of the, the super high-level technology is going to be impossible for us to do. So, really, we've got to focus on this early stuff. What's going to be useful early on for a, for a Wild West Frontier colony? That's a great question, eh? Salt preservation. That is a good idea. Preserve and make delicious salted meats. For when we maybe need to hit the road, or to be fair, we're not going to get a bloody cooler or any sort of freezer that's good for a very long time yet. We might have to barter for that type of technology. My next plan is to build a muffalo pen, because they're just kind of free roaming right now. How much wood have we got? Because we basically deforested... Oh, we got shitloads. We basically deforested the entire map at this point. It's like completely bare. We got, we got obviously all this stuff up here, but that's not going to go too far. Let's just throw down... Good old Muffalo Field. You know what? They deserve to get a good decent amount of room, I think. You know what? I've totally forgot to do this last episode, didn't I? Somebody left a comment a couple of episodes back now saying rename it to Tatiana's Rest. And I think that's a much better idea than naming it after a river that's totally done nothing for us so far. I got a trader from the cowboy folk. Hello. It's Velasco's sister. One of our... One of our prisoners, right? Oh, shit. That's really interesting that she originally came from the, the cowboy folk, you'd presume. Hello. Oh, well, the hell is even that? That's oh, not a... That's <laughs> not a muffalo. <laughs> Great take on the Wild West, though, eh? The biggest and the strongest cowboy gets to ride the dinosaur. I like that a lot. Hello. Let's see what you've got. I don't think we've got much to trade anymore, but it couldn't hurt. Hold on, though. They do have a devil yak. Man, I gotta try and get that one. I want the Devil Yak, and they've also got a telescope that I want as well. So we're gonna slap both of those bad boys on the list. Could sell them a muffler to try and get it. Oh, this is gonna be way too expensive. We might have to forget about that telescope, because this yak could be... This could be great for us. If we can get a male Devil Yak to go along with it, that's gonna be amazing. Uh, I might have to sell a muffalo here, but you know what? That's kind of the whole point of the playthrough, right? Trading two muffalo for a Devil Yak. Can't afford the telescope, but that's all right. We'll get by. Hello there. Man, that's so nice. Oh, and it also gives milk as well as Devil Strand. Doesn't give much Devil Strand, but that's still more than we're ever going to get for a, over a long time. You know what? In hindsight, forget it. Let's move the muffalo over to the to the other side of the map. I think it'll look better, but I don't want to fill up all this room in Main Street. This is going to be where we have the general merch, the blacksmith, and everything else going through going through town. We don't want to fill in all of that with muffalo fields. Did you look at that? Yakov's actually doing the salted meat research. Examining a trout at wooden research bench. Amazing. God, I love that research reinvented mod. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, it makes perfect sense to how else you're going to invent how to salt meat other than trying to salt meat. What, what are you doing in there? Sorry, I feel like there's been a miscommunication. God, it's so scary, isn't it? Oh, and a gift too. Thank you. 15 sapphire. Oh, that's pretty nice. Those are pretty expensive, right? Yeah, $6 each. It's a dangerous game, right? But we've got to get some chem fuel for dynamite from somewhere. Can't have a Wild West settlement without the old grandpappy Yakov blowing off his fingers with a dynamite-based incident. I'm looking at some Wild West town layouts, and they don't really have a, a, a front entrance or anything, right? There's a hitching post, sure. But it really is just two big lines, two big facades of, <laughs> of buildings with, like, little porches outside, which I've got a mod for because a lot of people suggested it. But yeah, that's it. It's just, big, it's just a big old line of buildings. Oh, it, I don't know how visually interesting I can make this in remote, but god damn it, I'm going to give it a go. Let's let's take these buildings down, because we're going to have to push this all back a little bit, especially if I'm going to put a little porch or sitting area outside too. And that's kind of cool. And we've actually got a reason to go for these this time. Muffalo Bill, intrepid ranger of the cowboy folk, is spotted a Lothar and wants us to hunt it. We're not ready to fight that. That would take... That would take a dozen cowboys on horseback to try and go for that thing. I think I'm all right. We've got some other abandoned sites and mining sites out there. Actually, mining sites might be a good way to actually get some stuff for us. But we're not going to be far off of bandits. I think we've got to make a rule. If it's, say, like a, a site owned by bandits or ogres or, or other just kind of generic hostile factions, then we can go out there and uh, maybe go and raid them without it being so bad. <gasps> Shit. Velasco's pregnancy progressed from the second to the third trimester. God damn it. Velasco is due to give birth in less than six days. You can prepare for the baby by building a birth room with a clean floor and a good bed. Get a skilled doctor ready. We're, we're so doomed. In the work tab, assign one person to childcare. Prepare a food source for the baby. That's fine. We could just, we'll just leave that to Velasco, I suppose. Build a cot. 
Am I going to keep this baby in prison? <laughs> um, shit. Uh, how close is she to being converted? Because this would be a real pain in the ass if she's 26%. Are we going to be able to knock 26% off in six days? Ugh. You know what? The bare minimum. Let's throw down a cot in the hospital. I mean, I have. Uh, obviously, I've had him reduce resistance before recruiting. So at any point, we could just slap a, a recruit command on that, get him to go in there and, and get a bought over immediately. Problem is, she's still a bandit. And the second we recruit her, it's going to be a much bigger pain in the ass to uh, not have her be a bandit. And to keep us really busy, it's almost growing time too. Uh, 6th of April, May to the 6th of September. Actually, it's growing time now. I do have variety matters, so I've got to keep these farms kind of small but varied. We could do with some cotton and stuff too. Okay, so potato plant. Let's throw down. Uh, well, let's try and keep it. Let's try and keep it accurate here. They grew wheat. They grew uh, corn. Obviously beans as well. Beans will cultivate faster than carrots is grown in the same map. Oh. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I could throw down some carrots too then. Why not? Yeah, let's blast down some barley too. Produces flour and hay for the animals and the people. There you go. That's quite a big farm, I will admit. I also want to throw down uh, somewhere different. Uh, that's kind of all the food crops together, right? So let's throw down some cotton and other kind of utility stuff something in cotton and maybe some heel root down here Hot plants for beer tabaki for granny um well it's a hard choice god that's so much this is this is what we leave to the the actual farmer character eventually uh, and obviously it'll be focusing more on the ranch and then the farming but i think i've got to go for it i mean it's just all too too good isn't it eventually we could even build a little town south of the river where we grow with the uh with the sand growing areas too so that will let's throw down, I presume, stuff like agave, stuff like different cactus, butternut, squash, cucumbers. What do you mean? Oh, I know why. Because I've had her taking part of the old buildings. Is she all right? Granny, you're caving the roof in on yourself. She almost died. She just almost died. Okay, let's be a bit more careful about that. Almost piece of wood just <laughs> went right through her neck. You gotta be careful. I think I accidentally did ignore. Yeah, I did ignore roof area rather than remove roof area. You know what? That's on me. It's a, it's a very basic, simple mistake to make. Oh, Yakov. He's got a stoner trait, so he's always got smoke leaf dependence. What if we swap out the tobacco for smoke leaf? That might work. I mean, it gives us something to sell as well. I don't think there's any downsides to it. Really? Hey, okay, okay, hear me out here. You know how, like, Western Frontiers, or at least what I hear about on the other side of the sea, yeah, they all have weird gimmicks, you know? Big, the world's, d gosh, darn this biggest toilet and shit like that. What if we just have a lion? What if we just have a, have a lion? God, imagine the flex, though. Granny Emmy and her pet lions. Nobody would mess with us. The bandits would stay a mile away. Uh, in hindsight, should I be placing an animal sleeping spot for a lion in the hospital where there's going to be a baby soon? Um, Probably not. You know what, Granny? Which is your responsibility now. Granny's got some animal handling, I think. Can I absolutely see this backfiring? All right, here you go. Let's get you tended. Oh, God damn it. I had such a dream. The rescued animal isn't joining the colony. Oh, well, we can sort that out. We can fix that. Don't worry. What the hell is Don going to think about this? Because he's the animal tamer. Granny's going to need you to tame a lion. Does anybody even know that Granny's keeping a lion in her bedroom right now? You know what? It's exactly the type of eccentric old town running Granny that I wanted. Hungry rats have found Eddie the... Ooh, I've been dumping the bodies in the river, I will admit. Okay, I didn't want anybody to know. Turns out that it's causing rats to appear. Um, Right, okay, let's let's stop that. Let's deal with that right now. Now, somebody in the comments did say you need to get yourself a Wild Westy-style graveyard on the edge of town. I think that's a great suggestion. I'm not really sure where to put it, though. I, I like using the land as a natural barrier, so I'm thinking maybe like here. Just using this bit of desert as a uh, as a graveyard. I am a big fan of the idea of, of, of the bandits specifically getting the, the cross graves just out there in the desert. Still respected, but totally forgotten otherwise. And then for our actual people, that uh, our colonists that will bury, put them in a churchyard or something like that with... With better... Oh, no. With better graves. Yakov. He's binging on alcohol. The man's pissed drunk. Shit! <laughs> oh no! Yakov! He's gonna get mauled by a fucking lion! Done! 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 Emmy, for God's sake, someone stop it! Stop! Oh, she's incapable of violence. Can you get him out of there? Emmy's being attacked. Emmy! Done, 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 done. Shoot that lion! Please get out of the door. Please just get out of the door. Shoot that lion. Shoot that lion. It's already half dead. Finish the job! Come on! Nice! Oh my god, I love the way he told this gun after he finished it. Oh, you town sheriff. Town sheriff. Fuck this lion. What a stupid idea. 
<laughs> what a stupid idea. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Granny Emmy, how'd it go? She got scratched on the neck. Yakov lost a foot. God damn it. And that's his own fault, to be fair. You shouldn't be pissed drunk around a lion. You're really asking for trouble at that point, aren't you? He actually... He actually died. That's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I can only apologize. I was... I got too eccentric with it. I got too eccentric with it. Man, you were... Like, we tended him pretty much as fast as we possibly could. I even risked Emmy to save him. The medicine was there. It was ready to go. Uh, I guess, actually, what what really happened is he didn't, he didn't bleed out because obviously he only got to severe blood loss, right? Because the alcohol had already lowered his consciousness down. The standard Rimworld play, right? Uh, where, where, he, where the blood loss got up to severe, instead of it being two hours until he bleeds out, actually he just died a lot earlier. So I don't think we ever would have been able to save him unless I tended him on the floor. But even then... Would have had to have got him out of the way of the line. I should have dropped him here and started tending him. Uh, okay, well, look, you've got to tend to Emmy. You've got to tend to Emmy. She's going to be fine, but damn, the loss of Yakov, that hurts. Because he, he was a rootin' tootin' shooter to his very core. How ironic that I would bring up the graves and then this would happen. You could argue it was a bad idea to... <laughs> to try and tame a lion probably didn't work out maybe stick to muffalo you know stay in your own lane she's down to 13 percent. this is so painful how long until babby is formed do i said six days how long ago was that it was only two days ago you know what i think hold out hope i reckon we can convert her over and then the baby will be born not a big bastard bandit but a rootin tootin sheep looter in honor of the big man himself fort yakov I have to do it. We've got it. We've got to honor him some way. He was one of our founders. Emmy is very close to a pretty massive breakthrough for the colony. She's at 14 construction, 14.48 specifically. When she gets up to 15, that's when we can start giving her that expertise, which gives her the 5% per level after that. And then she obviously gets a whole new skill to level up as she builds. If we're able to max that out before she gets too old to work, we're talking a 50% bonus to construction speed on top of a regular construction speed anyway. And this is someone who had no passion for it. She's just... She's pulled herself up by her bootstraps and she's put the goddamn work in. Look what she's got to show for it. A uh, dead friend. They were actually friends too. My friend Yakov died. Damn, I wish I'd checked the social tab before he bled out. Witnessed Ally's death. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a big shake. You know, it's a, bit, it's a big shock to yourself to get one of the original people. One of, your, one of your only three settlers killed. Oh, that's quite nice. Granny Emmy's teaching him one or two things. Level seven cooking, level one construction. Actually, it'd be a good backup. Con actually, a backup chef. You know what? I actually might put him on chefery. I'm joking about coining with Emmy. Maybe one day we will be able to mint our own currency. Maybe we will get our own bank, but it's not today, I'm afraid. What we need is a sarcophagus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use some of our very, very precious steel here to pave the tiles around him. Give him a proper little gravesite. Oh, we could put flowers on it too. Oh, I like that a lot. I think we've done a good job here. Let's have a funeral for the guy. Let's try and remember him. You know what, Emmy? You can, you can do the speaking. This isn't going to end well, but you know what? It's, it's necessary. They're both going to be a little shocked with their first proper colony loss, right? That's a, that's a lot to get used to. Emmy discussed death and family. That's what it's all about, right? It was a terrible eulogy. It's very upsetting for the both of them. They're probably feeling quite, quite lonely, quite isolated. But the poor guy did his best. 0.5%. He's actually going to do it. Sheriff Dunn's actually going to do it. He's turning bandits away from their old ways. I wonder what enforced compliance does. I don't think I've ever used it before. We need three colonists, obviously, before the uh, before the rolls are active. So we can't do it anymore. Ooh, this might be it. Hang on. Boom. Hey, there we go. Amazing work. And now we can just, yeah, now we can just straight recruit her, right? Right now is the important and hard part. What the hell do we want on Main Street? I think we've got to throw down... Bear in mind, all these buildings have to be fairly self-contained, right? Whoever's working in, say, let's say this one's the general store. Whoever's working in there needs to also have a room for living in, a room for cooking in. They need um, an outhouse because we have Dobbs Hygiene Light, so they just need, need latrines and stuff like that. Thought it was quite Western. Going to be a lot of planning. Now, I did add something that allowed us to build, like, a deck. Uh, yeah, there you go, wooden deck. It's like a bridge that you just, funnily enough... Slap down in front of it. Wood stoves would be pretty good. I think they're, they're probably the closest to being on brand as we've got. We do have some other stuff. Like the, I, I do like the cottage or the camp cauldron. But, I, I mean, it's a camp cauldron, right? I think it's meant to go outside more than that. Oh, the cottage fireplace would be absolutely perfect. Stone cutting. Maybe we should. Is that the only thing really holding us back? 
10 wood, 80 granite blocks. God damn it. Sure, why not? I've been slowly hauling some chunks over for when we kickstart it, but I think now's really the time. Now, the big thing I'm going to do this time to try and break the habit of a lifetime is not making everything identical. That's going to be that's gonna be a tricky one because that's what I normally used to do for, for everything, right? Just copy and paste it out. It's going to look a lot nicer. My God, she's actually in. Hello. Oh, look at that. That should give us a couple of days now free to prepare for the baby. So that works pretty damn well, I think. Uh, what I'm going to do... I think if we give her a bed, maybe in this one. So let's assign this one to her. And then let's move that cot over directly to her bed. I'm going to pull up the old names list. Because this is all about character building, right? And it's much easier to remember a Captain Cuba Viving Gravy Plasma than it is a Maud Velasco. Though that is already quite good. Well, the next time on my list is pretty bang on though, right? For a desert playthrough. Big Saguaro. I like that one a lot. And what I've realized is actually she was born to the Big Bastard Bandits. Her mother and her father were both from there. But her sister, if you remember, was part of the Cowboys. So her sister must have also left the Big Bastard Bandits. Oh my god, Granny. Granny's at the level now where she can really trick out some good furniture. It's a blessing and a curse, right? Because it's going to make these small box houses, as they had in the West, much nicer to live in, given that they're going to be quite cramped. Problem is, though, it's going to boom our colony wealth up, isn't it? 14.67. She's almost there. So what was Big Saguaro good at? Let's have a look. She is artistic, medical, intellectual cooking. She's got to be a, a doctor. She's got to be like a doctor or a researcher. Why not both? I feel like we've got room in the colony for both right now. Research is so bloody slow. We could do with a dedicated researcher. But I think both is fine. Because we haven't really got that many medical emergencies currently. Throw everybody on childcare, right? Big Saguaro obviously is, uh, is the kid's mother. So she needs to help out a little bit. Done is the lawman can teach him the, the proper way to live your life without being a, a horrible shit. And then Emmy can uh, just give us some good life advice, some good life skills, right? Take him on as an apprentice. Problem is, now I need to build a freaking school. Did they go to school in the Wild West and just have him work in the land? Probably just had him work in the land. That's fine. Maybe we don't need a school. <laughs> Got a visit here from a fallen empire courier. They wanted to deal with three sphinx cats. I guess they've heard of our cat killing skills. I wasn't even referring to the lion, but now it's occurred to me. Yeah, we are pretty much the experts on that, aren't we? Plus four honor, diamond gold LTX earrings for granny. Oh, I mean, technically, they'd be better for Dunn because he's the sheriff. I think we've got to take the honor. All right, let's go with it. Except with Emmy. Absolutely. Always big Saguaro's gun handling. Terrible. Oh, Lord. Okay, Um, where are all the guns is probably a better question. Because Yakov had a... Did I bury Yakov with his rifle? I'm not digging him back up. Honestly, that's kind of cool. I like that a lot. I could really do with a... Oh, shit. Someone's made a, a cattle horn sword. I guess that'll have to do. A repeater? Nope. Was it a uh, rifle? Nothing. Oh, shit. Okay, we need to build some... Me uh, maybe some weapons cabinets in the sheriff's office. That's actually a good idea. It's... This is the first time we've had a good doctor. So she's just started operating and giving Don his leg. Why do you need to anesthetize a man to strap a peg leg to him? Oh, for God's sake. And she messed it up. Oh, for Christ's sake. Those cans are going to be here any minute. Got six medical. And she's using an industrial level medicine. Like, for God's sake. What are you doing? Oh, damn. That actually almost killed him. That actually almost killed him. Okay, no more. No more. No more. That's enough. That's that's fine. Uh, this is exactly why. Ooh, why are you not giving him a peg leg? This is why. Poor man almost got murdered then because she was trying to... Put a fucking leg in his neck. We're not qualified. Forget it. She is qualified. She's good. She's just not not good enough. We're just gonna have to wait for the poor guy to patch up. And here's the cats. Oh shit. Do you reckon we could? Oh, I was gonna say reckon we could throw a throw a front gate on, and that would be good enough. But no, I've I've made some other openings here that I would plan to throw down gates down. We can't replace the wall directly with a gate. Bollocks. Where are the cats then? It's only three cats. How can this be so difficult? We're already here. They're <laughs> already here. Um. Uh, if we pop the door open and stand up uh, 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 at the, uh, the square below, we're going to have a pregnant woman fighting a bunch of cats with a knife. Okay, here we go. Crack open a cobble with the boys. Come back. Stand there. And now we wait for them to slowly come over one by one because they're manhunters. They won't go... Are you joking? Stab the cat. Thank you. Okay, that's not bad. Her melee is 6.16. Probably picked up a lot more experience butchering done. They're trying to go through the window. <laughs> have they got scarier? They do have Scarier. Okay. No, I was I thought they might have Scarier, but there's with this many mods. You never know what changes. There's many animal mods specifically. Right, let's see if we can just bait another over. Oh, come on, you little shits. Alright, that you know what? As far as I'm There you go, there you go, there you go. Nice. Okay, fight the Ah! Oh! They went straight for Granny Emmy! What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm on the plus side. This will hopefully Ah! 
Hopefully keep her in the fight a bit longer. Did she just get scarier? Did she just get scarier? Shit. <laughs> oh, God. Well, at least she's injured and heavily pregnant, so you can outrun her, Granny. Okay, the other cat's there. Yes. No, no, nice. Run. Run. Make a break for it. Make a break for it. Oh, the other cat. Make a break for it. Nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, how are we going to do this? Can we oh, maybe maybe loop the loop around the cat? Get indoors. Let the cat fuck off and get bored. Then we run back. Patch a big saguaro. The scary will make a breakdown occasionally, but it's not going to make a breakdown all the time. Get bored. Get bored and run off. Nice. There we go. There we go. I've got a game plan. And that game plan is... Granny Emmy. Honestly, installing that peg leg was the worst thing that could have happened. Get, in, get indoors. We're going to have to take this very slowly. I'm not cut out for this. I'm far too impatient. Okay, come back. Okay, piss off again. This is so big brain. How you looking? Seven hours. Okay, it was a couple of big hits to the arm. That we can patch up. Ooh, I don't think we're going to be able to run it there. Yeah, I've, I've waited a little while. I've waited a whole hour to try and get that cat to piss off. And it's ran all the way around the corner. I think we can make it. But the problem is we've got to get to this. We've got to pick up the Sphinx cat. We've got to pick up the Sphinx cat, then shut the door. Who's coming across the bridge? You're telling me there's a chance. Okay, okay, here. Uh, come here. Shut the door. Shut the door. And rescue. My God, I think he's actually done it. Lock that. No, 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 no. Tend, 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 tend. Jesus Christ. This is going to be close. We've been out in five hours. Six hours. We're going to be able to buy enough time, though. Seven hours. Eight hours. Come on. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's totally fine. She's not fine. She's got scarier. She's got rabies. She's about to die. <laughs> Done. How are you looking? Woozy. Uh, woozy. He should be able to get back up in a second then. The only reason he can't stand right now is because of all the cracks to his... Well, everything. Because of the massive amount of trauma to his torso. Okay. So we have to lock ourselves in the hospital basically until Don is up and more importantly ready to fight. We're just going to have to accept that there's a, a cat flying around. You, you didn't get bruised. Okay. You say you didn't get hit enough for it to bleed out. He's up. He's up. He's up, but is he ready to fight is a real question. He's got to get that shot in straight away. Again, one scratch from the cat could be enough to give him rabies. So this is pretty horrendous. This is pretty horrendous. We could climb a watchtower. What are we looking? What's the line of sight on that one? That could cover the whole area. I mean, if that cat would piss off across the bridge, we'd jump in that watchtower. We can shoot anything within this... This golden area, it can see pretty bloody far. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, eat your meal. Nice. Okay. Pop that open. Jump in the watchtower. Where's the cat gone? Jump in that watchtower. Nice. Where's the, where's the cat? Where's the cat? This is horrible. This is... Ah! Shit. Turn around. Shoot the cat. What's it doing? Melee attacking done. Nice. Good shot. One more. Done! Done. Okay, punch the cat. This is horrible. One hit and he's dead. No! Fucking... Remind me, what is it you need to cure Scaria? What is it you need to cure Scaria? Three medicine. Oh my god, we can just we can just cure it. I, I don't know why I thought it was Gus's head medicine. Why well, is blood rot? I was thinking of blood rot. We haven't got three medicine. We've only got one medicine left. Does regular herbal medicine work? In in five days, in five days, can we get a trader and trade for medicine? Is the better question. I'm I'm. <laughs> I'm so on edge right now. <laughs> the question is, is Dunn just going to kick the fucking door in and club Granny over the head? Oh, this is actually horrible. Freeholder title gained Emmy. Oh, well, thanks. That was worth it. Remind me next time. Oh, no, don't attack door. Watching for targets. Okay. So Big Saguaro is going to have to get up. He can just open the door. Because he's a colonist. He's going to shoot Emmy. Is he going to shoot Emmy? No, he's just going to go for the melee attack. Hold on, then. Make a... Br uh, bait him over. Bait him over. Bait him over. It's all about positioning. It's all about positioning. Here you go. Watch this. We're going to give him the old razzle-dazzle. We're going to give him the old razzle-dazzle. Go. 
go up, round, through. Nice. 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 Look at that. AGDQ, here I come. Let's get out of here. I'm, honestly, I think we just book it. We've got to wait for her to get up so she can punch Don. But I mean, where the hell am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to hide? Go up to the general store? I love that you sewed potatoes. That was really good. Amazing work. Oh, this must be heartbreaking for poor Granny. She's lost Yakov. Her grandson's been infected by rabies. We can cure it. I, I've got faith that this isn't going to be the end of done. I'm not letting him go out like this. Big Seguero, though, I'm not sure we can get enough medicine for both Dunn and her. Maybe herbal medicine works, at which point, same story. We've only got enough to cure one person. But the problem is we've also got to try and knock Dunn down so we can cure him. He'll collapse eventually, though. Like, like, it's just a mental state, right? So eventually he'll just snap out of it or he'll fall over or get thirsty or whatever will happen. This is somehow being the most tense RimWorld fight I've had in every single series we've had for the last year. <laughs> the Void. Void versus high-tech crazy power armor shit. Nothing compares to the scratch of a cat. This is insane. I'm like actually sweating. <laughs> Get out there on the open road. What if a trade caravan turns up and Dunn just decides to clap him upside the head? We got a waste rat here too. Uh, okay, I need to run this town a little bit better. We can't just be chucking bodies around. Melee attacking waste rat. Now nah, you don't really want to do that though, do you? Maybe the waste rat, hopefully, the waste rat will bite him on the leg and knock him over because he's still suffering from a lot of damage on his torso. We just don't want it to kill him though. That's a big rat. Waste rat revenge. Oh, great. And now we've got to deal with a rat and... Oh, shit. No, it didn't do enough damage. Okay, well, let's just hope he doesn't decide to punch something far stronger. Major break risk from Emmy. If she goes into a sad wonder, we are in a lot of trouble. I need some food for her. Do you think we could finesse it down to the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, that poor president can just hear screaming and meowing and has no idea what's going on. Um, let's try and get into the kitchen without noticing. Nice. Okay, get yourself a meal. And this will all blow over by the morning, Granny. Don't you worry. He is bleeding, so his consciousness will eventually drop. No immediate danger. He's still bleeding on the arm, though. Oh, he's really, he's really heading out into the desert. Are there any other animals out here that he could potentially... They're all dead. There's a bunch of dead lions. There's a camel. He might end up fist fighting a camel, at which point I'll probably get his ass handed to him. We haven't got anyone to tend. Uh, I mean, Emmy's just got to track him down and tend him. What's your medical skill? 7.11. She could do the the, uh, the, the, the scarier cure, right? Because what's that? Six medical? Is that eight medical? Going after a fox now? Oh, yeah. He's in all this wildlife. He's bleeding out in 22 hours, so we will... Fo there you go. He's down. He's down. He's down. The fox didn't go revenge, so we can get Emmy up there to go safely rescue him. Now we've got to patch the guy up and find a cure. That's going to be the hardest part. We might have to lock him behind. We might have to imprison him. We might have to lock him in the jail cell. Oh, so then. Good episode. Great progress. <laughs> we got two people dying and no doctor to cure him. There is, look, we've still got potential for doing some medical treatments, getting the skills up. Hopefully there'll be enough time. We might get a new recruit. I'm not sure. I'm open for suggestions, though. I'm absolutely open to suggestions for how the hell we're supposed to cure or save these people. There's got to be something I can do to stop this. Either way, thank you for joining me. Well, I was action-packed. I need to lie down. Thank you to Mr. Irrelevant, C. Clark, Ethox, Nick Bella, Grendel Offen, Ashen Jack, Flight Gamer, Olivion Mishap, Gazoos, Bellman, Cuddles, Biv, Vash, Mordecai, Zuba, Lady Jade, The Badass Forerunner Elite, Lee Zero, Geeg, Taff, Killer Clown, Matman, John Stoddard, Fancy Singularity, Heathen, A Pine Tree, Dying Whisper, Sabine Shadow Hill, Mythomatic, Adram, Evran, JG, Pang Power, Facunda Vasquez, Commissar Fox, Amethyst Gemstone, Mighty Couscous, and Juicader for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me today. We'll be back tomorrow for genuinely a life or death situation this will either make or break the colony if i can't find a cure